Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about one of a very useful personalized AI app known as Notebook LM. Although we already have made a video on it, but today's video is going to be super special guys as now this tool is available all across globe. Previously, it was only limited to US users, but now we can utilize Notebook LM all across globe. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's see how we can utilize it. Okay, so here you can see we are already in our computer screen and here I need to type Notebook LM Google or you know, you can even search it on internet. And then uh, we need to go to this link, which is notebooklm.google.com. And not to worry guys, I'm gonna also provide the same link in the description of this video. So in order to access Notebook LM, no more VPN required. And before actually I get started, let me also open it incognito because you know, if you are not logged in, how this application look like? So this application look like this. And then here you can see this application can be utilized for thinking, learning, brainstorming, and I would say for research as well. And the thing that make this app so special is that you can create your own repository and then you can ask Notebook LM any type of question. For example, let me again go back here. I mean, I just signed in and then you will be seeing this kind of interface. Now, in order to get started, you simply need to click on new notebook. And then here on the left hand side, you need to basically add the document. So let me actually download some of data. For example, a book of mathematics PDF. Let's download this book of mathematics. And there we have it. So seems like we have a lot of things here. Integer, rule of addition and so on. So let me download this and I'm gonna save it in my desktop. And now what I'm going to do here is in the app, I'm going to upload it. So let me upload this maths book here. And what note LM going to do here is it going to scan entire document for you. And in that way, the AI will be ready to answer your question based on that content. Now here you can see our PDF is successfully processed and then we are ready to ask questions out of this PDF. So let me actually ask um, what are integers and let's see what it come up with. And this is very useful guys, especially when somebody is doing research or somebody have their own bunch of document and you want result out of those specific document. So in that case, I would say this is truly the way one can go forward. And there we go, here we can see, we found some of data based on integer. And then I think the data looks decent enough. And you can always find a reference of it, like from where actually the AI got the answer from the book. So here we can see the AI was able to scan integer. And then from this portion, actually it have taken a reference. In this way guys, we can also see from which particular portion we got this answer. Now here you will also see more such questions. For example, how are negative integers represented in geometrically? And let's see what it come up with. And there we go guys. Again, we will find the reference in the book or in the PDF that we have provided. So in this way guys, we can create our own database and then can ask AI to scan it and then give us specific answers or customized answers based on the database we have created. This is very useful. And I would say in certain scenario when we are doing research, it is very useful guys. And not only we can get these answers, we can also pin them as well. So that, you know, whenever later on I'm going to access the same book, I'm going to get that note pinned inside that notebook. We also can add our own specific note if you want to write something here. So in this way, guys, we can utilize Notebook LM and can do research based on the document or library we have provided. 
do let us know how you would like to utilize notebook lm in comment down below that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye